even though this is, it's not really germane to, to my business, um, I found the close-up interaction with the Maori really interesting because we talk about uh, indigenous peoples uh, in the United States, but they're, they're kind of hidden away. Um, they're on reservations, they're heavily outnumbered. Um, one doesn't see them unless one seeks them out. And the level to which New Zealanders have integrated the Maori uh, and other Pacific Islanders, the, the indigenous peoples who are here, and the level to which they're willing to be open to welcome new people into their nation given the traumatic history of what happened here. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's another place in the world like it. It may be unique. So in that sense, just seeing that I think is a model. Uh, because uh, we're going through a phase right now, um, maybe it's social media, maybe it's the times, who knows, but it seems like all the men in the world are at war with all the women, and all the uh, you know, whites are at war with the non-whites. Like if you go on Twitter today, <laughs> that's the impression you get. And it's, even though I'm sure that there are many things to be resolved here, um, seeing an older culture like the Maori have a place where you know, both men and women have power, but very different kinds of power that reflect who they are. And then watching them integrate into this society and this society integrate into them. I know it's not perfect. I don't, I don't know the history, but at least from here, it's educational. It seems good.